Roll the first this shit. time on Patreon. You know what John's Boy, wearing under his pants. Boy got Egyptian yeah. pyramids. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun getting to hang with him, getting to hang at Love Machine. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Meet all those guys. It was, it was funny because it was kind of like when we, I went with my buddy who's very loud and inappropriate, <laughs> and uh, they are, you know, quiet and polite kind of. Right. So we were getting loud, and like I think the first day, they were like. Oh, that's cool that you guys are doing that, but we're gonna like stay in our shell. And <laughs> right. then we just had such a good time, we just kept going back. <laughs> right. We were there like three days. In, well, I got tattooed one day, my buddy got tattooed the next, and then we just went there. Chris was there, and like by the end of the time, like they were all yelling, talking shit. And whatever, <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, one of us. Yeah, are we recording? Yeah. Uh, not, Tell us that later. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the unpostable podcast. Yeah. Where there's stories that can still be Did we be get the part told. where John took his pants off? Yeah. yeah we We're making money this, this week. That happens like all the time on this one, though. You take your pants off? Dude, I was telling my dad about the last episode we had <laughs> with Stella. Last week we had a well-known porn star on. Okay. She's very friendly. Oh, what? For Patreon? But no, you could say porn. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure I wasn't messing up. But we were doing this thing where we were all flipping uh, coins okay. uh, to decide our fate. Right? right by the coin. So, like, Alex was like, okay, if heads, uh, I'll take my shirt off for the rest of the podcast. Tails, I won't. And then it came to her, and uh, she's like, what should mine be? And we're all like, I don't know. Like, what do you want it to be? And she's like, how about heads, I suck one of your dick under the table. <laughs> and we're like, <laughs> <laughs> the whole crowd was like... <laughs> That's a weird double sided coin. What <laughs> table? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a weird. Yeah, so I'm telling my dad, he's like, because uh, he was in for the weekend, he's like, oh, what do you do on the podcast? <laughs> Sick. Yeah. Convinced Alex so to be a porn star? No. No no no, 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 no. That would have been crazy. But it was a lot better if she did. I would have yeah. paid the five dollars. I, I almost got, I almost got manipulated into going into the industry. Um, Fuck off, manipulated. <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> I almost went. I almost went into the industry. It was crazy. I was about to get trafficked. Wow. I liked it. Did Did she make a casting for you or something like that? She said, like you uh, qualify or no? We got a couple agents' numbers from our. Because you our flipped friend. if you should get in the industry or not. Yeah, I I flipped. Um, <laughs> it was like heads heads. I I like sign up to get in the industry. <laughs> so we have another buddy who who's also really involved and uh I landed on heads and <laughs> we made the phone head. call on the fucking podcast right. and it was like, yo, uh Alex wants to shoot some Alex wants to shoot some porn. Can you send us the agent's number? So I got the agent's numbers and uh <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was funny, dude. It was <laughs> it sounds, sounds funny. It was funny. It was a good time. Well, so you did? No, no, I didn't shoot any porn. I told him it was a joke, and he was like, we'll save these for a rainy day. <laughs> I was like, thanks, dude. He's like, when you're down at your lowest. Yeah. I had one time um, an interview with uh, like a podcast, I, 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 I think it, it will be, with four porn stars okay. and I. Right. So, nice. <laughs> it was in New York City and it was in um it's in Amazon actually. In Amazon Prime or something. Uh yeah, there were four porn stars and we were having dinner in this uh, Italian restaurant in New York. Yeah. And they were talking about tattoos. I was a tattoo artist, you know. Right, right. Her name is Danny Danny Daniels. I don't know if you guys know her. I just met her for uh -huh. the, 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 uh -huh. for the podcast. But it was uh, Christy Mack. He was uh, a few others. It was, yeah. it was fun. That's sick. It, is, it, it was fun, yeah. It's usually good energy. They're cool. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was super fun. There's a lot of really good stories that always come with it. Like <laughs> a lot of just fucking <laughs> retarded stories. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ever tattooed a butthole? I never did. No. Yeah, me no. neither. Did you? I have. <laughs> you have? What, what do you do? What She's standing it? right there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? What do you got? A mandala. Mandala. Okay, it's spiritual. At least it's not <laughs> trashy. <laughs> At least it's not a trashy butthole tattoo. <laughs> could have been a spider web. It could be. Hey, it's, <laughs> it is a famous one of the of this octopus, right? The octopus. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah octopus. Yeah, I saw that one. 
Yep, yep. She's a gangster, bro. Oh, that's the name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Well, I don't know if that's like the name name, but that's the name that everyone that everyone Googles her by, probably. <laughs> but I don't know. If I you think know. that's a movie. Yeah. Octopussy. Awesome. Octopussy. <laughs> Octopussy is a. It's yeah. a movie. It's a um, James Bond movie, no? Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. It is. Look. Agent Octopussy. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Octo. Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> so <laughs> retarded. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> 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 How was your week, Alex? My week was good. Um, since the last time I was on the podcast, uh, I probably gained like I don't know fifty pounds of muscle. There you go. Um, there you know, oh, yeah, dude, you go I'm to the gym fucking now. huge now. It's crazy. Yeah. So uh, I started going to the gym. Uh, I've been going to the gym pff, what five days though. <laughs> yeah. You know, they they week, usually say, already. Yeah, they five usually say already. like your yeah. your your first week is where all the progress is. I've been seeing it. Uh, I've been practicing like flexing in the mirror and stuff. <laughs> My boy. Yeah, yeah, dude. I mean, yeah. Mr. Olympia's next year, you know, trying to right, trying get to get ready. involved. Um start, start, oh, yeah, do, yeah, a yeah. Quick, yeah. do a quick do a quick Show us show us show us what you got. So <laughs> <laughs> So the last workout we did, because i we've been working out together, he did really well. Yeah, really, yeah. really well. How it was, old are you? How old are you? I'm 21. Okay. Yeah, 20, it was 21. scary, dude, because like I have this, I had like this really bad fear of the gym. I, it's like fear of judgment or whatever. Like, but I was always super, super scared to get it like into the gym. I'd walk up the fucking steps to the Y, and I'd look in, and I'd see everybody <laughs> and I'd just turn around and go back to the home. Y. Yeah, because there was <laughs> you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start. Bro, somewhere. I, I would ju- I would just get so fucking. So once I got out. comfortable with that, I, I went saw, to Planet Fitness. I saw <laughs> all those old dudes staring at me from the doors, and I knew I couldn't walk in here. Dude, the Y by my house was like just Ladies. everybody yeah. fucking went there, dude. Doing aerobics. Yeah. It was. I bro, can't keep up with that. The Zumba. Fit Fitness classes, dude. <laughs> I get fucking terrified, bro. Right. Um, but you conquered that fear. I conquered that fear because the last time that we went, there was people in there. Nice. And I was like, oh no. And then we big dick the whole fucking gym, <laughs> and everybody left because they got scared of us. <laughs> That's not what happened. <laughs> That's it. All You're, three. All three of them. All three of them. <laughs> <laughs> the gym has like three machines. <laughs> oh. No, no it's it, been cool though, man. It's good when it's an empty gym, and that's yeah. nothing better yeah. than an empty gym, man. Uh, yeah. yeah. On on a real note though, I because I hadn't worked out in like f- probably five years, um, dude. I feel since so you, fucking good after working out. Since you like, were fifteen, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Since I was like, <laughs> since I was like fifteen, four, like fourteen, fifteen. I think is like the last time like I high actually school sports. Yeah, <clears throat> it was like freshman year of high school was the last time I was ever in like a what any type doing? of like regiment. I, w- I mean, I played baseball, so it was a lot of cardio, a lot of, like, shoulder working out, yeah. um, a lot of shit like that. And then I started doing drugs. <laughs> and then it all went downhill. Drugs are cool, though. I mean, if you can do them, not if you can't, obviously. Right. You, can yeah. you can do both. <laughs> Dude, I did them so well, they made me fucking retire. Right? That's, that's the reality of it, okay, dude? I respect you more than I respect Adrian, though. Adrian had a two-year run. I thought you were going to say, I respect you more than I respect myself. And uh, I thought that was going to be really cool. And I was going to agree with you. <laughs> yeah. I don't I respect, respect myself, myself much, more. but I would respect myself more than that. Because, Dan, you've been going to the gym, right? Yeah. That's awesome. And I've been losing weight and eating clean. Hell and yeah. doing the whole thing. I've been trying to... Not look like shit no more. Nice. Good. You guys are in a good age to do that. Yeah. I think yeah. you guys are so young yeah. that uh, yeah, I'm your off body will time. respond so fast. <coughs> yeah. With consistency, good food, you will be like... Pfft. Yeah, the good food part is what gets me. Because I was asking John, I was like, yo, what should I eat? He's like, well, what do you eat now? I'm like, fucking... Bur- I had a hamburger yesterday. <laughs> I had some burritos. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you can't do that anymore. Uh, so far, I've been failing with the good food. <laughs> But I, I have been, I've been taking some supplements. What supplements? What have you been taking? Shh, come on, dog. Let us know your secret. <laughs> you want, you want to know I'll to give you huge? my secret if you give me your secret. Your secret to what? To my supplements. Oh. <laughs> Shit, dog. Uh, all right, I want to hear this, actually. Yeah, me too, me too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So the, the supplements I take to yeah. get fucking massive, right? Uh-huh. Absolutely. You're a monster to right be an now. Absolute, I need to, know. to be an absolute <laughs> unit? 
<laughs> is vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep that immunity Great, up, That's a dog. good start. Vitamin oh, yeah. C. Yo, what's going on? I'm working inside all the time. I ain't getting no sun. Vitamin, vitamin D. Vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> right? A little zinc every now and then. Okay. Take some zinc. Right? Beef liver. Fuck yeah. Animal organs. Fuck yeah. Penis. Fuck yeah. Balls. <laughs> No, 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 dude, no, be come serious. On, Give us a serious lineup. No, no, no. So the serious lineup is vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, um, beef liver, beef organs. So like kidney, heart. Like uh, the capsules. Yeah, the little capsules. Vitamin from the and liver then, king? And then uh, I think it's just like fucking calcium. Are you buying from the liver king? <laughs> it doesn't tell you what I'm Be real, uh, be real. Come on. Don't. It was gifted upon me, dude. I, got for, is, I have sponsorships But is already. it liver king's brand or? I don't know. No, it's not. Uh oh. No, I got sponsored. They what just sent you? it what out to you? me. What are you? What are you? She legit. Did you just say come? <laughs> yeah, she legit. She legit. That's it. What is that? What it's the some f- shit from the Himalayas. They get it from like <laughs> oh, the DFT. rocks crushing into each other. It makes like this black sap and it has like um, 80 something vitamins and minerals. That the That's what you're body drinking needs. every morning. Yeah. Right? and like, Do you yeah. have it here? Yeah. Yeah. I have Why it don't here. you make us all some? You, we'll, you we'll really want to try it? Oh, yeah, dude, yeah. that'd be sick. Dude, I think I'm high. I was I was, do it right now. I, was I, I was taking um drinking I guess uh what's the name um fuck CMOS okay mm. CMOS they have also like ninety nine mineral minerals and stuff how when like when you take that stuff is it like uh built up over time that I start like feeling good or is it kind of like one of those immediate things I didn't feel anything oh okay. Just put yeah. it in my smoothie. Yeah. A scoop of, two scoops of that, yeah. I think. It's like a gel. Mm-hmm. You have all the minerals that you need. Yeah. And you said you do you do a lot of jujitsu and shit. When I'm here in Florida, yes. Yeah. How's but that? It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking amazing. If you're stressed, you just go yeah. fucking I put somebody in an arm bar, dude. During that hour. Yeah. You are not going to be stressed about anything right. just to survive. Yeah. You can have no time to think about anything in your life but to not get choked. So <laughs> yeah. It's a good... <laughs> yeah. Take it away your stress 100%. Yeah. That shit's really cool, dude. I, I think that's, like, the biggest thing I've noticed from the gym is, like, I'm struggling so much and I'm just trying... I want to, like, keep up. That I'm, That's the only thing I, I'm thinking about. Yeah, yeah. Is, like... At the moment, not you're lifting, like you a, are, like, just... Yeah. Focusing, don't get any injured, manage your weight, that's it. Yeah. Hell yeah. And it's fun, and you can take it outside of the gym, right? Mm-hmm. Helps mentally, you know, helps you feel better throughout the day. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're I have happier. more energy. Yeah, you're happier. You break down serotonin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. I take up t- supplements. Yeah. What's your lineup of supplements? In the morning, I take a lot of supplements. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I take a lot of supplements. Now I'm taking, I wake up, I take a um, natural um, uh, Alive probiotics. They are keeping the fridge. It's just a pill. Mm-hmm. Probably good for your, for your flora yeah. and everything. Um, then what I, what I take, um, B, um, ACAA, EAAs and BCAAs when I work out. Mm-hmm. I work out with an empty stomach. Then after that, I just go back home and I get a smoothie or I get a, Oatmeal with protein, um, glutamine, creatine, a yeah. uh, bunch of Peruvian things like lucuma, maca. Nice. My, in putting my things. Hell yeah. Nuts, fruits, like strawberries, blueberries. That's my breakfast. Then I go to work. I think it's fun doing all that. Like, I like it. Like, seeing different supplements, different routines like people have and, like, Im- it. implementing it. I love it. Too. And it wasn't like... I, I was like you when I started. I didn't want to go to the gym unless I had a partner. Yeah. I didn't feel comfortable there. Uh, you know, whatever. And then, oh, there we go. Oh, we're oh, about hot. to get high. He's hot. They're a little hot. Yeah, it's tea. How much did you put in here? Oh, uh, less than I take. Probably like about half as much as I take. Oh, it's probably too a, hot right there's now. A, right? There's a sap. So can, can you explain again what is this? Yeah, what, yeah, what so is this? Yeah, so when mountains crush each other. Mountains. <laughs> This is dirt. Bro, this is dirt. you got scammed. <laughs> nah, bro. Let me guess. We have to call you Lord now. <laughs> it's on my page. <laughs> okay, so, so when mountains when, like, crush. When they crush each other, they create like this dense like 
tap of nutrients because of like the like one, minerals one and shit mountain. in there. <laughs> Hates another mountain. <laughs> right. It comes from the rocks. Okay, so it's when they slowly, really yeah. slowly go together. And they they're like catching all this like organic matter, like plants and shit and like crushing it and like heating it because of like the friction of like the rocks, it creates that. And they have to like take it out of the rock and essentially like purify it and so we're drinking rock blood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. They call it the conqueror of mountains or some shit. So are like there that. like immediate effects of drinking this or you, you feel energized and <laughs> that's it. Yeah. And you get really high. I mean you don't get high. All right. So it, it's good that you're doing it in, in the in the in the glass thing. You're yeah. The, yeah. The, the hot thing in the freaking metal. Yeah, in constantly the plastic. Fucked. We are eating like pure cancer, but well. We need one of those cups you were talking about before. Yeah, the, the cups for the Peace Corps. Yes. That's what we need. Because what I smell now is like... It smells like smoke, like like barbecue smoke, you know? Like, it smells like plastic. Burning yeah, it smells plastic. like burning plastic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's because of plastic, I think. Like, no, it's no, that's the smell it has. It's kind of like a burnt rubber kind of a smell and taste. Oh, that was so fucking hot. Jesus. It's like a mountain. She legit. Yeah. Tastes like the Himalayas. She legit. S H I. Where? How, so, life. so, how did you be honest? Like, how did you find out about this? Bro, I just Instagram. Instagram? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking, you know my algorithm, dog. That's just it's just wild to me that like you found it on Truth Social. No, it'd be a lot cooler <laughs> if I did. <laughs> Mountain blood's on there. <laughs> so, do they say that this like beats coffee? Or yeah. Yeah, like it like, beats everything. Like not as mud in water like shit. effect wise, because yeah. you know coffee would get you going if it gets you going. But like it's the healthiest thing you can start your day with. Essentially, is what they say. Well, gotcha. yeah, coffee stops your body from being tired, right? Yeah, as not like, mine. No, I mean like scientifically. Oh yeah, that's like why why you feel that, right? And then I've been looking at more products that uh, increase naturally produced energy. Rather than just shutting off right. chemicals that make you tired. Yeah. Um, so it's not, maybe this is that, more that? Yeah, that's kind of the deal. Like, it's like, it changes the way that your body, like, ingests food and everything. So, like, after, like, your next meal, if it isn't clean, you're going to feel sluggish more than ever. But if it is a clean meal, you're going to feel great. Nice. Mm. I just started so, taking this new supplement. <laughs> Let me, I don't, it's just letters, so I don't want to get them wrong. <laughs> Let me look real quick. I think it's NMM. M&Ms? M&Ms? I've had a couple M&Ms. I think it's M&M. <laughs> 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 this is Peanut. the chocolate Peanut. that happens with two mountains. Yeah, crush N-M-N. N-M-N. Right? Mike yeah. November Mike. It increases the efficiency of energy production at the cellular level, improves mitochondrial function, and improves quality of bone, muscle, and organ tissue. Yo, that's the powerhouse of the cell. So let me tell you. So I'm very like, like I'll, I have some people that I reach out to and they're like natural and they're doing what I'm trying to do and and get it. So this is a recommendation. Uh, But I'm very quick to just be like, just take it. Yeah. Like, what did I take? (laughs) Yeah. So, uh, yeah, 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 old (laughs) habits. I was still doing my normal caffeine routine, you know, which is like two espressos. Some energy supplements, wow. um, pre-workout. This isn't the first two hours of being awake. Oh my <laughs> right? God. It's, it's bad, bro. It's, it's really bad, dude. Wow. I know. That's no why I'm trying, to, so I'm, trying to, shit done. I'm trying to change it. That's why. <laughs> uh, it's bad. But I'm not doing energy drinks anymore, so I'm that's happy good. about that. But I took this on top of all that. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I had like a 10 minute panic attack. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> bro. So I'm like taking it and I'm like, all right, I don't feel anything. I guess I'm, I'm thinking, oh, that's good. Like, I don't want to feel like, you know, mm-hmm. like something like niacin or anything like that. And then I like sit on the couch and all of a sudden my like face gets hot. My head gets hot. And I just, my girl's like there with my dog, like relaxing morning. And I just stand up. I'm like, I'm not okay. <laughs> Is it like hot or, or hot and itchy kind of a thing? I mean, I just had a, uh, it was like an anxiety dump. Yeah. Oh, word. Like That's adrenaline. Crazy. It was just too yeah. much. Wow. Too many things, I think. 
Right. Oh, no, you th- absolutely yeah. too many things. Yeah, shit's the <laughs> fucking So I, I worst. like realized that what was happening, and I was like, okay, I just got to go be alone for ten minutes, and and it went away. But my buddy was like, yeah, you probably should have taken like half the dose. Right. But I've been on it the last <laughs> week, and you have to look for the change. Like I don't feel it, but I've definitely been more alert. I'm not like, oh, I need coffee. Mm Because usually when I'm tired, I'm like, oh, let me get a coffee. Mm -hmm. I haven't had that. Um, But so far, I'm very happy with the the product. But yeah, I'm always looking at like new things. NMM. Yeah. I'm going to look on it. Yeah, yeah. But it's uh, from the UK. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I like to take um, or eat healthy as much as I can, even if I have a sweet tooth. Yeah. Mm. But um, I try to. The best I can, you know? yeah. yeah. What's like your favorite go to when you like can't make food? You know what I'm saying? Like out on the streets, what's your favorite like thing to go eat healthy? For healthy food? Yeah. Okay. What if, if I'm driving or or like if like let's say you're at the shop and you like you know like peanuts. it's like pe- okay peanuts. peanuts. That would be peanuts. Yeah, it's my feel. Yeah, like up. a just, I'm hungry and I don't want to just I'm not ready to for for dinner or anything yeah. like that. Order some food or whatever. So I go next door and I get a peanut. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's pretty solid. What do you go for, like, with a cheat meal? I have cheat meals every day. I think. <laughs> 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 but I work out hard. I think yeah. like, yeah, I deserve it. So, yeah. Not, yeah. A burger, when I'm at the shop, I order yeah. burgers yeah. with fries. John's an animal when it comes to cheat meals. Oh, like, yeah. he, he, he gets wild. We were in New York. <laughs> And oh yeah, at the com- at his yeah, we were at, we were at Empire, uh-huh. right? And <laughs> I was like, "Fucking!" And cheating. we were we were all downstairs at the bar in the lobby, and John was like, "Man, fuck it, dude! It's it's cheat day." <laughs> and uh, and I I was like, just kind of like in my own world, and then the next thing I know, there's like fucking three boxes of these gourmet donuts <laughs> but these donuts are fucking huge dude and there was like ice cream sandwiches wow. donuts yeah i yeah. think i ordered 300 dollars worth of uber eats for that myself was, it was wow. insane oh, bro. you are so it was like gourmet donuts and then there was cookies and then there was <laughs> cookie and donut ice cream sandwiches <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah it was fucking so this was crazy cheat meal or cheat day Cheap meal. Holy yeah. shit. Um, Amazing. Well, I just wanted... I knew I wasn't going to eat all of it, but I okay. wanted to try every... <laughs> it all. I wanted to try every flavor. Adrian, <laughs> did not, Adrian didn't get the memo that it was not just for... He like, was eating in time. Adrian donuts. fucking grabbed the fucking... I was fucking, like, damn, I wanted to try that. That's why the fork and knife. <laughs> yeah, bro. So everybody's like fucking sharing. Adrian was like knuckle deep in a fucking <laughs> donut ice cream sandwich, had another donut in his hand. What a psycho. Yeah, it was fucking crazy. Dude. I was a little... Im- I didn't realize it'd be that much. It was way more than three bucks. Bo- like... I don't it know if you remember lot. in the convention center, but if you got to that bar and you look to a left, there was kind of like a little seating area and there was a table like mm-hmm. about this size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. filled up the whole table. It was, it was I was insane. embarrassed. I was like, <laughs> oh, <there's laughs> wow. yeah. Yeah. but you usually wow. go for sweets when you're when you're doing a cheap meal. Like every time I like ice yeah. cream or, yeah. or something. Yeah. But it's also because like I'm I really only do like one meal a day or maybe two meals a day. Like I'll do the, the fasting. Mm hmm. So I'm very used to like when I sit down, I'm gonna eat 3,000 3, calories in a clip. Right. So it's already designed like that, right. you know. Right. So that that you know factors into. Yeah. You know what you're doing. I can, dude. If I wanted to, I could probably like if I went on a 24 hour fast, I could easily take wow. down 5,000 calories in one sitting. No wow. problem. Bro, I I have been do, like for a while now. Been doing like the one meal a day, kind of unintentionally. Shit's but fire. but I I mean I I love it. Like I lost a f- when i started doing it i just lost a fuck ton of natural weight yeah i wasn't working out or anything but i i slimmed natural down with, with or just weight. like from not working out or anything i was just losing weight like fat yeah just fat and right. shit um because since january i th- yeah since january i've lost 60 pounds wow yeah. would you get I didn't a clonic it was that much yeah for, since january Amazing. it was it was 60 pounds would you it get was, a clonic great what would i get what a clonic what's that it's when they put a hose up your ass and then flush you out from the inside. An enema? No, it's like, <laughs> it's like, 
an enema's daddy. <laughs> you know what I'm no, saying? No, I, I don't think I would, dude. And the only reason is I have no fucking issues. Like, well, it's not about issues. The, it's like the they say that you lose like 20 pounds off rip just from that. Is this like with your mountain water? Like, is no, that no, also no, what no. they sold you? A, a, no, 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 no. a ass hose kit? <laughs> no. You just shove that it's, shit up it's there. A thing. Like, dude, we're we're fucking good. We're doing out, it, dog. Bro. I'm just saying, you know, you should try it. No, but the one meal, like, I love it because it's like cool. I, I I'm never really hungry in the morning, and in the morning I'll have like a Lacroix or like a sparkling water, and that will kind of like hold me over. But with working out, like I always heard how good it was to work out on an empty stomach. Mm -hmm. It's like. Because then when you're done, from, like, what the little bit that I've experienced, it's like, cool, I'm done now, and then I want to eat because I'm hungry. But then it's like, I really want to eat clean to not fucking waste. Because, yo, I'll fucking put down, like, a whole box of pizza, bro. <laughs> like, my one meal can be the most <laughs> atrocious fucking thing you've ever seen what in your life. What if it's, like, healthy pizza, though, you know? like Well, bro, let's well, do that. my problem is because I was, I was cooking for so long. Yeah. Right? You so know. So I know how to cook really well, but... I also know how to cook food that tastes really good and is really bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So I'll just make, like, these crazy portions of shit and just fucking put it down. But, yeah, it's, like, really, it's almost like it inspires you to, like, eat. I want to eat clean. Yeah. Like, we tried this So Green place or whatever. So Fresh. No, it wasn't So Fresh. It was, was another it place? Was, yeah, it was another place. It was, like, quinoa. It was, like, a chicken pesto quinoa Fuck, thing. Fuck, that sounds good, Dude, bro. it was so fucking good, bro. <laughs> it was... Healthy, you think? Yeah, I think like it was not too oily or whatever. My my only thing that concerns me with those places sometimes they do fake healthy. Is but they do from what I see is they do like fake healthy and the portions fucking Massive. autistic. Yeah, like it's, it's huge. huge. Yeah, like the bowl is this big. It's mm -hmm. filled up all the way. So do you think that um, the place that I like is fake healthy? What place? Bale. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fake healthy. Good to know. Yeah, it's junk food. Shit's so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, it tastes really good. They had though, me for like a year and a half. <laughs> well, whatever. So fresh. Is you could eat worse than that, but. You can, but yeah. it's not like what, what I thought it was. No. <laughs> From like the little I know about eating healthy, I feel like the healthiest fucking thing is just like when you have, you're just eating pure. You know what I mean? Like you have chicken, it's barely seasoned, or you just have salt broccoli cauliflower shit like that like sweet potato like just no just food uh, yeah not just like food but like unnecessary yeah, yeah without the unnecessary seasoning sauces all that shit you like, like that acoustic eating yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it's tough man i think i think organic is key a hundred percent but i think that like to get that you have to have your own farm yeah, yeah. or leave the country yeah, yeah. you know and that's like what I'm always battling is just the food produced in the U.S. It's it's really bad, bro. That is true. Yeah. It fucking that sucks. Hundred percent true. I, I don't know you guys know, but I'm I'm vegan for seven years. Wow. Oh no way. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And wow. Um, and one of the reasons I stopped eating at the beginning is for health. Yeah. My my dad got cancer, and uh, and they prohibit him to eat uh, beef, like yeah. a cow. And I did an allergy test, um, intolerance test, allergies. And I'm 100% intolerant to beef. Mm. And I didn't know. I just get full and, you know, yeah. Yeah. you don't have to have pain or, or die for it. Just you're, you create inflammation in your inside of the whole body. So whenever you get nutrients for other things, you don't get them because everything's so inflamed that you don't absorb anything. Wow. wow. I didn't know so, that. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to feel bad for it. And, and I have a couple other intolerance that also do that and that doesn't help to absorb whatever you're taking. Yeah. You know? And, um, yeah, I, I, I don't eat any, because the industry, you know, here is too much hormones on the, on yeah. the, on the yeah. any animal, all the anti, 80% of the antibiotics created are going to animals that you eat. So when right. you get sick and you take antibiotic, mm -hmm. you don't get, you don't get a uh, good, very fast because yeah, you already take so antibiotics much. every day. <laughs> right. uh, Microdose yeah. every day when you're eating a burger. Yeah. When you're eating chicken wings. So So being vegan, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think I mean they're probably ignorant questions, but some of the most like common questions when people say they're vegan is like, Oh, you're not getting the the proper amount of protein or, or whatever. Like Yeah, it is a usual question. So how I do you 
feel about well, that? Because people don't know that plants and, and, and legumes and seeds and have protein. Yeah. yeah. So actually when we eat protein from from meat, you we are you're taking it for with a with an intermediate in between. It's right. like saying when you take B twelve, for example. B twelve yeah. doesn't exist in nature anymore. So when you eat your meat, you are taking B12 because they injected B12 on them or they put the food with extra B12 gotcha. so that's where you get the B12. So I take it uh, in a pill right. directly. Gotcha. So I, if I ate um, pumpkin seeds or if I ate tofu or beans or mm-hmm. lentils or any other thing with a lot of protein, it's protein in every, everything. Yeah, Even yeah lentils are the best. Man, it's a lot of protein everywhere. Yeah. It's, it's not like you need that much protein if you don't work out, for example. You don't have a, you know, you don't work out hard, hard. Humans is the one who eat the less, need the less protein yeah. for survival. Nobody nobody lacks of, of protein. Right. Nobody's in the hospital for lacking of protein. Do you like grains? That's a good point. Like, are you like, do you like eat bread and rice and stuff like that? Or do you like... I no? do like it. I don't eat much. No rice, no 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 bread in my house. Gotcha. But I was right now. I was in Italy like two days ago, and I was eating for like a week pizza uh, and pasta, yeah. pizza, <laughs> pasta, pizza, pasta, pizza, <laughs> pasta, so pizza, cool. pasta, and I didn't gain any weight. Mm. Actually, I lose weight. Yeah. So it's the, it's what you combine your your carbs with meat or stuff like yeah. that. How you gain weight? But I don't eat meat. So I wake up and it's very easy for me to, to have like a, you know, very defined body because yeah. I don't have any animal fat. I just have like a vegetable fat, like exactly. avocados or stuff like that yeah. or nuts. So it actually doesn't go to your belly. So you go to your joints, you go to yeah. your skin. You yeah. go to your so for me, when <laughs> I, I start being vegan, I lose a lot of weight as well, but... um my body rejuvenate like 10 years, man. Yeah, I bet. Like 10 years, man. You Do you find that like going vegan <clears throat> like improved mental health at all? Because I know like your gut is super fucking connected to, to mental uh, health. It's your second brain. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I got more like, I don't know, more peaceful, mm. more relaxed. Yeah. More like, you know, everything is just more like chill, I think. I don't know. I don't know if that has to be with it or maybe just age. I think maybe (laughs) like an old man that doesn't care about anything anymore, you know. But I mean, um, definitely, I I, I feel like I get more more conscious of of what I put in my mouth. Before, I didn't have any consciousness of I was eating everything Mm -hmm. and a lot and freaking. That's that's me. Yeah, yeah. That was me at your age, too. Floor pills, everything. The floor pills. <laughs> <laughs> I find it. I find it. I, I eat it. It's okay. mine now. <laughs> what is this? That's we that don't find out. Diet, <laughs> I, I was the guy who was making fun of vegans. Yeah. Let me put it at that point. Yeah. I was like a freaking big carnivore. Mm. You know? Yeah. And But later on, you know, I started to research and, and why, what it costs to my body and all those things. I'm like, mm, maybe it's not a great idea. Yeah. Do you ever miss me? Like, do you ever have, like, a moment and you're like, damn, bro, you know what? <laughs> that fucking, that fucking slice looks so good right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it feels right now, but I can, I remember the flavor. And I, I think vegans are not, nothing against the flavor. Of course, yeah, it's just no, the no, no, cruelty. No, no. Either, yeah, cruelty, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I say I'm vegan and not a, just a plant-based, because late, at the beginning I was not vegan. I was just a plant-based guy because yeah. I wanted to don't get sick what my my father had yeah but later it's it's inevitable if you're not eating that you you to try starting to realize if you like you have a dog or something like that yeah. it's the same thing as you are eating a yeah bacon you know it's, just, it's like you eat your dog it's it's, it's do it in China. It's the same thing yeah i went thing. i remember two year three years ago i got uh me and me and my chef we got invited out to to ohio to go to certified angus beef's headquarters mm. And we got to like experience the whole farm. Like we stayed, we stayed in the hotel. But, like every morning, we'd go to the farm, and then from there, then we'd go to the slaughter. Then we'd go to the then we'd go to the to the butch room, and we where they have the whole sides of cows on the hooks, and they bring them out, and then we'd butcher, and then we'd cook, mm-hmm. and then we'd have like a tasting menu. Mm-hmm. 
And it was a really cool experience. But, yo, those cows are so fucking cute, dog. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're they're so fucking... Dude, they're, like, the coolest animals ever. Yeah. And then, like, see... That... Yeah, it's just... It's kind of a sad... Yeah, a really sad process. think about it is not because... Why, why weed cows? Do you know the reason why weed cows? Because they're the ones who cannot defend themselves. That's the only reason why. It makes Damn, sense, yeah. Dog. It's, it's the only one. It's, they're yeah. not aggressive. They, they don't run fast. No. They are just very pa- pacific, like a, like a small dog. They don't even walk. They cannot escape. Yeah. That's why we cows. It's, yeah. You, probably it's better quality of meat, another one, who is more active. The meat is maybe, I don't know. Yeah. A but, horse. But horse example. meat is allegedly very tough and not fun well, to it's beca- it's you because you it's because of the horse? adrenaline. That, that's what I heard. That's, ah, allegedly. See, that's so, exactly yeah, what I mean. It's, that's why they'll, they'll, when they do kill... It, they'll do it in a super relaxed environment like for Wagyu. the animal. Adrenaline. Music, music and yeah. massage. They, well, yeah, like they do <laughs> that, that with Kobe beef. Yeah. Yeah. With, with Kobe beef, they tie, they tie the hooves, and they'll fatten them the fuck up throughout their whole lives. And they're, soup, they're massaged. They play, like, classical music. They, they make sure it's a super relaxed environment. That crazy marbling that's in Kobe, it's, it's because of, of all that. They, they're not active at all. I want to go that next level. I want to have like meat that's got like light treatment and it gets therapy once a week. And you know, like he's just now. thinking about marijuana. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> grow lambs. <laughs> yeah, oh, what shit. if we had hydroponic right, yeah. cows, dog? <laughs> yeah, genetics, crossbreeding. <laughs> yeah, cows. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, do you think marijuana helps you in your workouts? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't take period workout. I know some power lifters that take dabs. Yeah, when That's they lift, fucking sick. I just I, I take dabs I every day, dog. So like, I used to count when I like you know last time I went to the gym. I used to count like for the longest. Even when I was in the military, I used to do the whole counting thing. I don't do that anymore. I just get really stoned before the gym, and then I just <laughs> go until my muscles are tired, and then I stop. You know, that's how I know. I know that I can't go once. My muscles are like, you're done. Yeah. And I feel like that's good. <laughs> Bro. Cool. My, I'm, I'm done. I'm tired. I'm going to go. Yeah, like, <laughs> it took two hours yesterday. Dude, I feel like listen, it's good. You know? I think it's awesome that you're going to the gym, dude. Me too. I tell, like even him, I'm like, just show up. Don't worry about anything else True. the first couple of weeks. Just show up. Yeah. True. You yeah. know what I mean? Even True. if you're just walking on the treadmill, like, get used to that routine of just being there. Yeah. yeah. Right? And if you want to, like, tag along on, on some of the stuff. And, you know, everyone's different. Everyone's body. And, like, if you're feeling sore, perfect. That's it. You know? And it, it advances from there. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah it's been super fun. Yeah. It's like, I, I, I feel like I never left. Again. I love yeah. to Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this. I don't got no appointments today. Yo, and the sauna. You can't keep me out of the sauna. Yeah. I, I love this. That's where I write all the skits and like a lot of stuff. So peaceful. I don't think I have a sauna, but we have like the massage jet beds and like this weird case that like closes in on you. And it's like, it's not a tanning bed, but yeah. it's kind of like a tanning bed. And then it starts to shake at the bottom, yeah. you know, it's like real <laughs> weird. Dude. And massages, like, Fire. we got one yesterday, and uh, I, like, fuck, I always do this. <laughs> so I went golfing, so I'm tired and in the sun all day. And then massage, dude, as soon as I hit the table, I passed out. <laughs> so I woke myself up, because I guess I was, like, snoring. Like, every time she, like, pushed on me, I would be like, ah. You know? <laughs> Bro, and I was so out that, like, I wake up, and I can, like, kind of see through the face hole. I was just drooling. <laughs> Dude, yeah, so bro. So pretty much I just paid to take a nap. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, a quick fucking nap. That's that's how I was redoing the accident shit. Uh, Chris stole it and then yeah. he took it back. Look, I have right. to get massages, man. I never get massages. No? It's so good for you. Yeah. It's so good for your body, man. Yeah. Yeah. I've never had one in my, in my life. Backpack. That's what I do all the time. I what? hit myself with a Theragun. Those little... Like self massage, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 but not, oh. not the same, not the same. No. Yeah, no, you're right. Because it gets all the same. fluids moving. <laughs> exactly. and have yeah. you guys ever tried acupuncture? I no, have, but actually. I want. To. How, what's your experience with it? Because I'm well, really curious. I, hello, hi. Would you like to sit? <laughs> <laughs> so I only ever got it when I was in rehab. <laughs> so that, listen, that's kind of you asked my experience. That's kind of did, did they give you acupuncture and treatment? Yeah, a few of them. Did what it, the did it fuck? Work? I don't know. They were like, "We're gonna do your ear," and then they looked at my ear and they're like, yes, yes. 
okay, <laughs> we'll figure it out, you know, whatever. <laughs> so they did it, and I don't know if I was, like, in the best state to, like, receive it. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember really doing anything, honestly. Yeah, I've I've... I feel like acupuncture is one of those things, like you were saying, like not being in the best state to receive it, where you need to, not that it's placebo, but like you need to believe that it's going to work. Right. Like you you have to be in a certain mental state and then go in there like this is going to do something Like at least be open to it. So I haven't had needle acupuncture, but I've had electric acupuncture and that's rat. My my chiropractor, the one that comes here, um, he has this little machine and he puts it to your ear and your ears what they call homunculus. So it's essentially like a representation of your own body in a separate body part. And yeah. like the acupuncture points, depending if you do like the Asian style or the French style of acupuncture are a little different, but they're very similar. And so like, that's why the whole expansion of the ear is a thing because the, your lobe represents like your, it's, it's like a fetus. Like it's like a baby curled up like that. And your lobe represents the head up here is the spine curving in and then like the feet are over here mm. yeah so you s- stretch your ear it's expanding your mind expanding your consciousness that's that's like what the wow. basis of the tradition is How to expand mind a do you more, feel man. smarter <laughs> tat toolkit you guys need to check this out if you want to improve your digital designs and increase your tattoo productivity then this is the site for you tat toolkit offers Digital designs, stamps, reference pictures, stencils, brush sets, and so much more. Whether you're just starting out or you've been in the industry your whole life, these tools will benefit you. What I love about Tat Toolkit is we're constantly working with new artists to really build an online community. You will get an inside look at the design process for each artist we work with. Tat Toolkit will offer everything from the tools these artists are using, the designs they're creating, online seminars, merch, and more. This is a great place to interact and connect directly with the best artists in the industry. You guys need to check this out at tattoolkit.com and don't forget to use code CAMSUCKS for 10% off. With your gauges? <laughs> Bro, or honestly, do you feel in like certain not? ways, honestly, yeah. <laughs> like... Just me. Just yeah, feeling. Really know. I feel like I've become a more patient person because of it, you know, because it's like just having that shitty feeling in your ears for so long, for like <laughs> that week and a half that just, I don't know, dude, it, it sucks, but you just kind of get it. You get it, and you're yeah. like, this is this is life. And then you, you know, you go about it. But like, yeah, so he like hits you in the ear with yeah. this machine. And for me, it, it's the only thing that will let me walk again once my back is fucked up because I have my back injury from the military. Yeah. And so that's how I know it's real because my shit's like a real documented fucked up injury on my back. And um, I was I was marching. Uh, we were doing... <laughs> well, listen, fuck off. We, we were doing... <laughs> My girl sergeant really liked me. <laughs> no, this was this was on my own. I was marching because I wanted to try out for something, and I had close to like 120 pounds in a backpack. The like average weight's like 75, and I fucking took off. And just a few steps in, my back kind of just like shifted wrong, and I took another step, and I went straight to the ground. And bro, that shit was so. Did horrific. you did you make the team? No. Oh, did they fuck. did they make you? Carry that weight, or do you just decide to? Push I was doing it. Uh, yeah, I was trying to push it. Like I was really trying to push myself to like get to that next level. I was like, I, I really wanted to do that. I didn't think I was going to be a tattooer. I thought I was going to be in the military my whole life. Yeah, right. you know. Right. So then that happened, and after that happened, I was like, uh, I guess I have to find the new path now. <laughs> do you get money for that? No, I'm an idiot. Yeah, bro, I didn't go. To, <laughs> I didn't go to. I didn't go to the doctor or nothing because they kind of. Uh, <laughs> My my command was really into like that whole like just shut the fuck up and go through it kind of a thing, you know? Um, yeah. So it wasn't like go to the doctor, like that's not cool. You don't go to the doctor, you just go to work the next day. Right, 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 right. Do you so, feel smarter with your your stretched? No. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're kinda like out of style now. The years? No. Yeah. They're classic, bro. I'm I think they went back to what they were. What? Kind of like fucking 
like kind of strange that you have them. And that was like the cool thing. Yeah, Cause everybody exactly. was like getting that. Nobody really stretched like as far as you did, but everybody had like fucking plugs for a while. Right. And now nobody or has like them again. Those fucking kids that wear the fake fucking plugs. <laughs> 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 well, I, don't, I don't see like the younger generation really doing it no i don't see because they're not woke <laughs> <laughs> they are woke because they're closed <laughs> they're born woke do you, do you like the fact that 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 nobody's doing it what do you like the fact that nobody's doing it or does it make you feel uh insecure i don't i don't know if that really plays into it for me at all it was just like I, I think it's because somewhat recently someone was like, oh, that's so crazy mm -hmm. that your you ear? have your ears that big. And I'm like, I'm like, do you see what they're doing now? <laughs> I, I don't know. And I was like, is that like a, is it, are those, I'm like, is this weird to have again? Yeah. Like, are we, are the times changing? Yeah. And then I was thinking like, oh, I don't really see anyone like doing it and like getting it. And I was, and so it was more of just something I was uh, witnessing or being yeah. aware of yeah because like for us it was big because of like the whole like metal emo core scene it was like, like a music thing. yeah it was yeah. like a music yeah. thing and now it switched over to like this realm where like that demographic of people now listens to more like that emo rock stuff and like that's more like just regular piercings if any you know yeah i think like, it was also more a face tattoo, tattoo thing. yeah and it's yeah. not necessarily mm -hmm. now yeah you know no, it's, it's like you yeah. can be a tattoo artist without having all this stuff yeah right you know the the image of a tattooer has changed yeah right. it's changing yeah, right that's true you can i mean even look at like you know cam who yeah. really doesn't have any piercings or modifications or, or whatever uh, you know, I've met, yeah, I mean, we know some of the greatest tattooers in the country right now that have no tattoos. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. True. As an, out, like an, as an no outsider. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, you're good. You're good. As like an outsider to that shit. Sorsa it, it has no tattoos, weird. right? What? No. Yeah. Yeah. Alex Sorsa has no tattoos. And no it's, we, it, it was like, we, cause I always anticipate. I, I think it's weird. <laughs> when I, I, first, start, when yeah. I first started yeah, getting tattooed, you know I, know, I, know. I always thought everybody would look like John or like you. I was like, I was like, oh, you. Fucking crazy mods. That's why I got whatever. into this shit because I wanted to look like this. To be honest, I mean, with dude, you. like Oscar, Oscar barely like he Oscar has, has five, somebody. He has like no showing. Yeah. He just has like script. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But it's cool though because like it's also like being different. You sure. know what I mean? In, in the industry itself, I wanted to stretch my ears for fucking ever, and I still do. But I don't. You want, don't have the lobes for it. I dude. didn't want to be patient. You Allie see was, the weird chain he put in his ear? Yeah, he's trying to copy <laughs> my fucking. Swagger. Oh, you have it too. <laughs> I got two. No, he, yeah, he got the other one. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a nose piercing. Yeah, though. like oh. the 300, dude. Dude, I'll put the shit like here, yeah. And then I'm going to put it down a fucking, to fucking my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never Just lose that around. wallet. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yes, you will. It'll hurt so bad. It'll be a painful. <laughs> Bro, my dog fucked your wallet up. Yeah, dude, I was at John's house, and uh, I have a really bad habit of like taking one thing out of my pocket and forgetting it. I'm forgetting <laughs> it even fucking exists. Yeah. And so I think I took out I took out my wallet and I went home and I left it. <laughs> and then the next day, John sends me a picture and goes, "But we made you something." <laughs> <laughs> knock knock. Bro, my fucking wallet was destroyed. And I'm also an oh, idiot. Was there money? Like, Bro, I kept, like, my social in there. Yo. I kept, like, fucking ID. Everything Yo. was in my wallet. What about Brad, what though? What do you have? What do you have? Uh, as a husky. Oh, what was your social? Yeah, you got What's it. my social number? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> I almost got it. I go to the gym now, bro. It. My mind's big. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wrote a skit today about a gym dude. For Alex, and it's gonna to be me. In the skip. Hell yeah! I only I was telling I was telling John yeah, I only want to work out my lats. <laughs> just ever, fly away. Ever lats. just just so I can walk around like this. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tiny like, arms, you can take lats. like the stint machine mm -hmm. and run it on your biceps and triceps and completely tire them out. Yeah. The fuck so is that? that? When you know the electro pulse machine. Oh yeah. So that when you're doing it, it truly isolates the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Let's do it, dude. Let's bro. And then I go to like 
weightlifting competitions. <laughs> You'd be the human it's, kite. It's just like little, yeah, bro. I'm like the a human glide kite, suit, bro. Amazing. Yeah. You could you, aerodynamic as shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like the dudes that for some reason their fucking necks and traps are massive. Yeah, but they have like nothing else. Yeah, it's true. Just walk true. I see like that. Though, That's just like. I take a bunch of testosterone and I don't know how to work out. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing this a lot. What, what do you think about what do you think about tests and, and PEDs and all that stuff? I don't I don't know what it's test. Oh, like, uh, like steroids. Per- steroids. Well, when I was twenty seven years old, uh-huh. twenty six years old, I took everything, man. Yeah, yeah, I took everything. Me too. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. John's not care. natural. No, no, now I am. Yeah. Now John's natural. Yeah. Yeah, I'm natural now too. But I mean, when I was young, I was like 20 something years old and I was, uh, I really liked to work out. I, I, I was telling you earlier that I was big. I was yeah. like, a, I'm, I'm a medium size. At the time, I was large, dry. Yeah. So yeah. I was doing MMA, I was doing yeah. everything. So I, I wanted to be strong and I was. But um, I think it's very bad for your body, man. Yeah. I have, a, I have a, when I stop, um, I, I take it like a couple a couple cycles. So that means in a in a year, you know, right. a year. And then when I stop, I have such a bad acne in my back. Yeah. Um, that I was like, man, I'm never taking this again. Really? Man. I lost like all motivation. Mm-hmm. Bad motivation, a little depression. I knew it was coming, so whatever. But I was like, oh, this is rough. Yeah. Yes. You know, to come off. <laughs> because after you you're taking it, and you are like. Uh, like this, like solid, yeah. man. I want my body was so solid. Um, and you're stopping doing it, you are not as strong. Like, I mean, right. not as strong and not as, like, a, like a solid, you know? Yeah. Um, so you want it. Yeah, it's tough. You want to be... And you get used to it. Strong, yeah. yes. Like, oh, when I work out, like... In two weeks, I'll go up 10 pounds. That's just how it works. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just it's just not realistic. No yeah. realistic, no. Yeah. But I think for me, I have a, I'm a, I don't have the best genetics as a body-wise. Mm-hmm. And definitely that changed my genetics because mm-hmm. I really have a big shoulders. I, I, I develop certain things that I naturally I will probably never, yeah. never get them. And then I move here, I get overweight, or whatever, but... To when I w- when I was coming back after that, I feel that muscle quickly. Yeah. I believe than uh, than not being taken at other time. My muscle yeah. already have a memory, and for me, I can go back to not the same. Yeah, but I mean the shape wise, yeah. I already gained that weight. That yeah. that that muscle already. So I think not everything bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it. You remember? <laughs> do you remember I my? Did. You remember my client Brady, that huge bodybuilder dude that I did all the satanic tattoos on? Maybe. Or you came wow. here all the time, right? He was like, yo, during so during COVID, right? Um, for actually not during COVID, when I left, when I got fired by you guys last time. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why you got fired? I don't even remember, man. Uh, you deserve. There's, there's you a couple deserve. reasons. <laughs> <laughs> was it the most recent one? Yeah, with that Jay. With Jay. It's three times. Three times. <laughs> with Jay. Three times. The time Jay fired oh, me. Oh yeah, I think you were just going through something. You didn't want to help out around the shop. Yeah, and so you're good, man. Yeah. And so um, <laughs> he kept me afloat because I was traveling a lot, and whenever I'd come back, he'd like book like a session with me, and I just tattoo yeah. him at my place and whatever, and then fly back out to wherever I was going. So, but he was, he is huge. It's still, dude, dude's a monster. But he took so much steroids that he gave himself one of the world's rarest liver cancers. They wow. had to give him a transplant. Wow. Um, they took his liver to study it because it is that rare of a wow. fucking type of cancer. Wow. And like, dude's still walking around. He's got like, maybe like. 10 years to live now because of it. Yeah, yeah. But, dude, that steroid shit's no joke. He talks about it a lot. And he's, he's like, I, I started way too young, and I fucked myself up thinking that I knew. How old is the guy now? He's 20 fucking wow. seven. Wow. 27 now. Wow. Right? That's and, crazy. But if you look at him, you'd age him at, like, probably 37, 40. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would never take anything. Yeah. yeah, me neither. 
Well, there's a lot scary. of young guys, like bodybuilders, that are just falling out. Like, a lot of dudes are just dying. Yeah, yeah. There was this one dude, I forget what country he was in, but, like, he was middle of a workout and just collapsed dead. Like, he was done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Died doing what he loved. <laughs> That's what's important. <laughs> yeah, I hope I just die during a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Right, uh, then I don't have to deal with, like, retirement bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Dad going out, doing what he loved. Yeah. That's what I said about Bonnie, you know? Bonnie died doing what he uh, loved, man. Yeah. R.I.P. Our buddy that passed away a week ago, more or less, oh. he, he was a really big diver, really big into diving. And he was preparing for um, J two, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For what? Yeah, oh, uh, he was preparing for. No, like you know what he loved. Yeah, yeah. Loved, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, he was preparing for free dri- for a free dive, and he passed out in shallow waters. And- <laughs> In shallow waters. And died in shallow wa- shallow waters, yeah. Shallow waters. Yeah, not deep waters. Like, they walked like Yeah, they, they <laughs> walked. He probably, like, like yeah, bro, like, it's, but like I said, he died doing what he loved. Jay yeah. died doing what he loved, you wow. know? Yeah. Yeah, you try to find, like, some silver lining. Yeah, you try. <laughs> no. Wow. I hope I die doing what I love, bro. What do you like love? Jerking off? <laughs> fucking lifting weights, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Full fucking circle. <laughs> fucking at the gym, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Mid-skit. Yeah, mid, mid-skit. You love just, doing the skits. Bro, the skits are so... Bro, I love filming. It's so much fun, dude, because it's like... Bro, it's cool that like we're doing something that's going to make somebody laugh. And it's like, yo, what it really is, like, cool, I'm having fun with my friends. Yeah. Literally, you know what I mean? that's the best. It's, it's the coolest fucking thing, dude. Like, because I mean, we, when we first met, I think that's how we started to get, like, kind of close was I was in a couple of skits. Right. And we were like, oh, this is, this is fun. Yeah. You know? Yeah, dude, I fucking love that. I love the podcast. I love the skits. Like, it's cool. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. Because I'm already such an animated fucking retard. So I just, you just what, put me yeah. on the screen. And I just love comedy. Like, yeah. I like following all the comedians and, like, seeing what's what's up. And Which one is your favorite? Shane Gillis. Yeah, probably Shane Gillis. But I was... Do you know Shane Gillis? Oh. Oh, man. Well, maybe, maybe, I, maybe, maybe... He's, I like, uh, on the rise very much so, but uh, new. Yeah. Um, but he has a podcast. When we started our podcast, I had never listened or seen a podcast so i was like oh let me do some research to see what these things are you know uh and his secret podcast is one of the first ones i was listening to and he has a partner matt mccusker matt mccusker just released his first special i think on youtube and i thought it was really good yeah um but then you know I, i like a lot of the People that like I really love Louis C.K. You oh, know? Yeah. oh, Louis C.K. Yeah, the best. Dude. I saw him in Madison Square Garden. Oh, That's hilarious. rad. Before, before the incident everything happened. Right. <laughs> but I think he's kind of back, now. dude. I think he's kind of innocent, bro. I don't think he did anything <laughs> wrong. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, he bro. Did. So, so right <laughs> now, one of my favorite comedians is this little dude named Com- Comrade Trip. Bro, he's like this meek like bald dude in a sweater but like a cosby sweater but it's like a sweater vest you know and he just gets up there and he's like so painfully are you tired of using ink bottles that are spelled correctly do you find yourself texting during ad reads for companies well i do and that's why i use allegory black are you tired of your black arms looking blue do you suck at tattooing and you want to get better allegory black allegory has normal black and ultra black just when you thought it couldn't get any darker they put out ultra black use allegory ink it's the best ink on the planet go to allegoryinc.com and use discount code unemployable for 20 percent off i know it's crazy it's so much money you really should pay full price but we have a discount code right alex that's right really awkward Oh yeah, and he his his comedy is just about his misery, you know, <laughs> like it's the it's 
I wish we had oh, like, a little to TV. Send me your yes. favorite clips. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. They're all so good. I can send, like, I'll, I'll just send you his it. profile. You'll be like, dude, yeah, this is it, fire. Send me your favorite too. Uh, like yeah, I know Shane. Dude, love, Shane's great. Like, I like that like, fucked up really comedy fun. where like he's it's one of those not guys. Everyone. He's one of those guys you just don't like. He doesn't really write jokes. He just makes everything funny. Really? Yeah. Like he like he has some jokes for that sure, he's for sure. Dude, I saw him live. It was the greatest comedy show I've ever been to. It was wow. so fucking good, dude. Well, and it's new. It's a new flavor. He's one of those that's like, I understand cancel culture is going on, but I'm just going to do my thing. Yeah. You it's know? Fucking gang. Because he, he, he was a writer for SNL, and he got fired <laughs> for that? making like an improper joke. Right, right. About you know what it was? A, yeah, it was something about like, I'm pretty sure he he just called the the Chinese uh, a word they don't like being called in the joke. I think he did a uh, imp- impression. Oh yeah, it was it was something along the lines. Right, right, right. And um and yeah, they were like, yeah, he can't be here. <laughs> yeah. And then he right. blew the fuck up <laughs> doing the same right. exact shit. Something better is coming. Yeah. yeah. When uh, something bad yeah. happens, <laughs> the best thing is coming. Right. Yeah. 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 But I even like. I, I like watching, like, Kill Tony and stuff when they just have, like, random people, <laughs> new people, old people come on and try to do stand-up comedy. Yeah. You have, you, have you seen Kill Tony? So it's no. like this, it's this podcast, and they have a panel of comedians, and then they'll just have... Like, like career comedians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Real mm-hmm. big time. And, uh, and then what they'll do is they're, like, on stage, live audience, and then they'll just have... It's kind of like an open mic. It's a one minute open mic, and these comedians will come up and do their one minute. Sometimes it's their first time ever performing. Yeah, That's right. and it's yeah. it's either majority of times it's, it's really not it's funny really at bad. all, <laughs> and the, and the comedians just verbally assault these people <laughs> for, for ten Yo, minutes. I want in on that. Yeah, it's so yeah, good. they do it. Wow. They, Dude, I would love to bomb on that and let them just go in. I don't they care. They only do it in Austin. But, like, I'm about... We should go to a show. I'm genuinely really about like, signing Like, would you up. go and be... Like, yeah, and I'm like, this is what I'm saying. I'm about signing up oh, and yeah. doing a minute. You, and you already me. have your, your, your minute planned, planned out? I'll help you. I mean, we'll to, be, to be honest, like, uh, there was a point in time where I was like, I think maybe stand-up comedy would be cool, like, go to an open mic. Um, and I was, like, 18 at the time. And uh, around that time, That's I cool. just couldn't get my dick hard. And it was crazy. And I thought that that was really funny because all my boys that I told just made fun of me. And they, <laughs> and they were like, yo, that's hysterical. And I was like, cool, I'll just go make fun of myself for a minute. Um, and then I, n- I never did the open mic. But now it would, I don't really know what it would be Chris, about. Chris, we should bring Alex to an open mic. I'm about it. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I'm about doing it. We should go to the, this one together and do, like, CIA-trained operatives and bomb together. Yeah, but here's the thing. I think I'd actually want to try to make one of them laugh because yeah, I love no, all absolutely. of them so much. Yeah, run it. But yeah, like, I, mean, it would, I, would, I would actually try and then, and then bomb unintentionally. I'll help yeah. you write it and I'll time you. Yeah, no, but that's the thing. I'm about yeah. doing it. If I have my boys in the audience, like, if you guys were there, I'd be like, yeah, who gives a fuck? I'm never going to see any of these other people. Yeah, again. fuck those other people. I would do it. <laughs> He'd be like, uh, uh, But like now uh, you can call him on it when the opportunity comes. So that's the best part. I would do this. it. You got it on yeah, camera. Yeah, you know he's really good at poker. <laughs> Bro, last night, me and Chris, he was teaching me all these new games in poker. Yeah. I had so much fucking fun. Do you gamble? Uh, no, never. I don't know how to play poker either. Poker's fun. Well, because we just had a, well, they I didn't, had a poker night at the new shop the other night. Yeah. How'd that go? I fucking hate learner's night. <laughs> learner's night? Yeah, when, like, people are learning how to play. You, oh, you already knew. Last night? Oh, no, but that's, that's different. Because we, we were playing, we were playing, well, we were playing Hold'em that night. And, like, I know how to play Hold'em. Okay. Chris was teaching me all the new ways of playing. But, like, when we were trying all the new ways that you were show, like, I didn't know you were teaching me how to bet, teaching me hands and shit like that. Like, I would show you my cards and be like, what the fuck would I do here? Yeah, exactly. I was learning how to play different games. I fucks with solitaire. So, good one. I was getting absolute shit hands, but for some <laughs> reason, I also kind of forgot that I was playing with all of my friends, and um, and I was like, "Cool, I'm gonna make money tonight. That's what I'm doing." <laughs> and that's where I fucked up because one, like, they're all my friends, and I was like. It was like a $50 buy-in. Um, but I was like, yeah, I'm fucking making money tonight. 
<laughs> yeah, and then I, I was like the third one to bust, and then I forgot I also have, I didn't even have money to buy in in the first place. <laughs> so, so I didn't even have money to buy in in the first place. Chris bought me in. I wish you would have won. And then, I bu- so epic. and then I busted, and uh, yeah, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't a good night, man. It wasn't my night. It wasn't my night. <laughs> Chris is calling me a junkie, dude. He's worse I'm not a you. fucking junkie, Here, bro. I don't have a me. problem. Really? We're gonna. We have to. I'm getting the signal. It's time to shut it down. Oh, <laughs> not the bad signal. Well, we'll, we'll keep everyone updated on Alex's trials and tribulations. Yeah. The so the world. this has been every time that we do the Patreon. It's it's always uh, there's a new event that's happening in my life. Yeah. Next time <laughs> you guys see me, I I may look like a different person as a result of <laughs> testosterone. Unrecognizable. <and> Com- <laughs> comedian. Damn, is that Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> that that, that name is gonna be the Jack. Comedian, yeah, <laughs> dude, I'll be yeah. fucking huge. Jack's jokes, dude. Jack, jo- J, J, and J, <laughs> J and J. Uh-huh. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Unpostable. Thank you so much for being here. That Thank was so much guys. fun. Thank you guys. For this kind of turned into like I learned a lot this today. Good, and hopefully the viewers will either learn or laugh at you. Well, until next time. <laughs> All right. Model Citizen used to be cool before Alex started wearing it. Are you tired of being unattractive to everyone around you? Well, not anymore. With the Model Citizen Apparel, you'll be beating them off with a stick. Finally, tattoo clothing that is actual quality, that I can wear around and feel good. For real though, the quality of these clothes is top notch. This is like nothing you've ever seen before with a tattoo company. This isn't some Gildan bullshit. These are quality hand-picked clothing. They have everything from vintage styles, oversized clothes, modern tees. Go to themodelcitizen.com. Get them before Alex does.